Welcome, Gemini, to your November 28th through December 3rd reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, yes, these are getting out a little late because I was on vacation. So, which is pretty amazing to me. I don't usually take a vacation. So, it was nice. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on. Through November 28th through December 3rd, please, for the beautiful Gemini. Delays and standstills and a little resistance. Um, might even feel like there's some kind of a lack of control going on within the situation and why you have some kind of delay um, of taking action and moving forward. A little bit of disconnect um, between maybe you and what you want to take action on. Um, maybe you're just not sure yet. Sometimes we think we want something and then we're not sure. We don't really speak it or, you know, take the action to do so. So let's see what's going on. Clarifying on this. We have the Nine of Wands. Bringing the courage. Intuition. Intuition's holding you back. That's why. Intuition. And a little bit of self-doubt that this could actually happen. Um, That's it right there. It's your own intuition that's kind of holding you back from this situation. It's not that you don't have the courage to do so. It's more like having the resistance to want to do something because you have a gut feeling that keeps telling you, I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, so there's definitely it kind of ignoring the call for just a second because you're just not sure how this is going to work. And if your gut feeling is telling you, Gemini, that this is not working, um, you're definitely going to want to go with that gut feeling. Um, Let's see what's going on over here. Making the right choice, yeah. There's a little bit of confusion going on over here about how this is going to work. If you feel like you have some kind of di domestic disharmony or broken family issues or struggles to a relationship, um, you're having kind of um, higher expectations to the situation, but it's almost to the point where um, it's like... <laughs> Uh, maybe they have high expectations that this is going to work, but your intuition is telling you uh, they think it's going to work, but I, I don't know. They want this to work, but the more we keep trying to fix it, the more it's not working. Oh, boy. It just feels like the more that you kind of uh, maybe even speak about the situation with the Two of Swords, the more confusion it comes because it becomes emotionally charged debate. It's almost like you say you want to fix something. As soon as we start to fix something, then everything we talk about becomes a debate, becomes an argument. Um, and so, you know, they want to sit over here and say, you know, they have the high expectations that this is going to work out within the family area. Um, but yet you are kind of unattached because you don't really think that this is really going to work as much. So, yeah, I see where the delay is and the struggle is. Um, but feeling like you're kind of out in the cold within this situation. Um, and it is. It's a time that you're going to kind of isolate yourself a little bit um, during December. This is the December area, and it's saying, I'm isolating myself away from you. I'm going to kind of cold shoulder you a little bit. I'm going to kind of go in my hidey hole um, because... It almost feels like where their personal values are or not where your personal values are. Whatever the purpose is to getting back to the family relationship and the shattered dreams, broken family, however, um, it's almost like you kind of see it as confusion and no real purpose. It's almost to the point where I'm isolating because there's no purpose in trying to fix something if they're just going to want to continue to argue with me, um, control the situation. It does feel like the person you're dealing with is a very stubborn, rigid person and they want to kind of control the situation all the time. Well, that's where the debating comes from. You cannot stay on the same page. Um, so it does feel like there is a conflict that needs to be addressed. But at the same time, it's really hard because it's very frustrating um, to get through this. Oh, the tower. Yeah, it's the sudden change and upheaval of the situation. It's kind of like they really want you to fix this and do this, and they're inspired to want to kind of see it this way, 
Um, but yet it's kind of also the great awakening for you with the high priestess um, that you're not sure how well this is going to work. I'm not going to really put myself out there, right, Gemini, for something that I'm not sure. Look, my gut intuition says that this is not going to happen and there's a resistance to change. Do you, the um, intuition that you're feeling is that there really is an a resistance for them to change. They can tell you that they're going to change. They want to say that there's a sudden change, but you're not believing it. It's almost like I've heard this one before. How many times are you going to tell me that? Until you can actually see their personal transformation, 100, you are not going to 100% give all. So the second chance that they're really thinking that they're going to get, you're having self-doubt about that situation. So is there really a second chance? Because they don't have the self-awareness of what they're really doing. They think they do, but they they don't. So the sun upside down, there's red flags all over the place. Because no matter what, you still feel that there is some carelessness within them. They're trying to tell you that they're going to change their, you know, but it's almost like stop talking and show me. Whoa, you know how that goes, guys. Action is louder than words, but they can't do that. They haven't shown that. They're not showing it. So with the movement, yeah, I want to see some movement. I want to see some progress. So, yeah. You're stuck at a crossroads over here because you want to see them move. Like I said, absolutely. That's exactly what it is. I want to see you take control in the department of what you say you're going to do, but you haven't shown me. They just keep living in the past. You're waiting also for the, some kind of forgiveness from them. You want to see them moving forward from living in the past. You want to see them actually say they're sorry. But it just feels like when the confrontation does come down, uh, the debates of, well, you know, in the past we did, well, stop living in the past. They want to always hold a grudge towards that situation. Could be dealing with Scorpio. There is some kind of ego that's going on, and it does feel like the reason that you, you know, feel like I'm unattached to the situation and my expectations are not high is because your ego is still very much there. So, therefore, that's still not showing the change that they said that they were going to do. So, it's really the lack of recognition of everything that they've done. I'm going to sit over here and tell you, Gemini. I'm not going to do that anymore. We're going to stay on the same page. I'm going to show you the love. I'm going to be compassionate towards you. We're going to hold hands at the store. Then you get to the store, they ain't holding your hand. You're walking 20 feet in front of you. So what I'm saying is this reading is really action show, you know, really shows you more than words. It's all words. It's all just, that's all it is. They have not shown you anything, and this is why you're going to feel like you're out in the cold. You feel like you're going to isolate yourself away. You're going to cold shoulder the situation, and now you're going to actually put up a defense mechanism because they're not showing you what you want. So, absolutely. You might even feel like you're in some kind of competition with someone else. If they said that they were going to stop talking to somebody, maybe they, I don't know who that's coming from now. That just came out of nowhere. They said they were going to talk, stop talking to someone, um, and... Where is that coming from? Three, three fucking... <laughs> like I said, they said that they were going to... I'm just going to bring it up now. Now you got the three of pentacles. They said they were going to stop talking to someone and then you catch them talking to this person. Hiding out. Maybe they're even hiding out talking to this person and you see this. They said that they weren't going to do this. They said that they were going to slow down at work and then all of a sudden you catch them working. I don't know, guys. It's, that's crazy. Because I definitely felt this third person and then the three of pentacles pops up. And I'm telling you right now, you want the teamwork and everything, but then all of a sudden, you know, for someone out there, they said they weren't going to do this and weren't going to do that. And they have not shown any of that progress. Coming clean. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> for somebody, there's definitely... A third party situation going on that just came out of the blue. I mean, literally just came out of the blue where it feels like they're giving passion to someone else. 
said that they weren't going to talk to someone else. And now all of a sudden they're in December talking to this other person. You catch this other person. And remember, if this isn't your story, please just throw this piece away because I have to bring this up because that is just, like I said, it came out of nowhere. They have to come clean about the situation. You're going to rethink the approach that they're taking and that's why you're going into isolation mode. They're keeping secrets away from you. No matter what, whatever is going on over here, of how they're treating you or doing something, they're living in the past for the forgiveness, but they're definitely keeping secrets um, from you. There is some kind of self deceit or deception going on within this situation while coming up with new ideas of how you're going to, they're coming up with new ideas of how they want to communicate. Um, and it could even be you, but the lack of communication really is there. So all of a sudden it's like, you said you were going to change. You said you were going to do this. You didn't take any action to show me. And now you don't even want to talk. And it could even be yourself who does not want to have the lack of commitment or the lack of communication with them because you're isolating yourself out because you did find out that whatever they said they were not going to do, they have done again. Um, and now you're just kind of repressing your energy and kind of holding tight to these barrier walls over here as they are kind of challenging you um, and kind of putting you in competition mode for whatever else the situation is. Um, and it does feel like you're kind of carrying all the burdens and doing all these um, over stressful things kind of by yourself. Which is definitely going to give you a little lack of concentration through the situation. And there's the infidelity card. What the... Boom. Yeah, overwhelmed by the, you know, infidelity and anxiety. So for some of you, there is definitely some kind of infidelity that's going on that they promised you that they would not do. You were waiting for them to change, but you haven't seen any personal transformation through the situation. I think the personal transformation is them showing you the extra compassion. We have so many cups up here. You want them to show you the passion. You want them to show you the love. But instead, they're living in the past. Um, or maybe even you are living a little in the past. Take it how it resonates. Um, because of forgiveness, right? I mean, we do have the Ten of Cups in reverse. You know, struggling relationship. Um, however it is. Um, but definitely, that's, that's crazy. Because in the end, it's showing their infidelity. Wow. And for others of you, if it's um, them just making work their priority, um, then that can just be the Three of Pentacles as, as well. Them saying that they're not going to stay at the office for a million hours. You know, putting something else in front of you. Not going to drink, not going to do this. Whatever that third pinnacle is does not have to be cheating. Um, but definitely, in the end, I did feel that. <laughs> okay, guys. And that was it for you. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.